All right, folks, I know it's been a minute, but welcome back to Mint Charlie Mills. Today, we are doing a Whole30 egg bag. My wife and I decided, let's hey, let's do the Whole30 again this year. You know what? Fuck it, let's do it. I'm making an egg bag. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make some potatoes right here, simply potatoed. It's Whole30 approved. All that is is shredded potato. That is it. No additives, no nothing. I'm gonna cook this down. I'm gonna add some sausage, I'm gonna cook that down, some onions, some pepper, some deliciousness, we're gonna scramble it up into some eggs, no cheese, no dairy, none of that shit. This is gonna be nothing but Whole30 accessible. I guarantee you'll love it. Just follow the recipe, and I'm telling you, life is better the Whole30 way. All right, so here you see I have my potatoes inside my pan, and all I'm using is Clarified butter. A lot of people want to use ghee. That's a waste of money. You just clarify some butter, man. It's quick. It's simple. It's not that hard to do. It may take a little time, but man, you'll save yourself a ton of money in the long run. So I'm going to salt and pepper this thing. Make sure it looks fantastic. Because I want to make sure this bake is delicious when I eat this. Because there's not to be any cheese or anything else in it to make it taste good. So salt, pepper. Let's crisp this up. Let's make this fantastic. Alright, so now we have our turkey sausage. We're gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Alright, and all this is is just straight up turkey and spices. No extra additives, no sugars, no crap. Just turkey and spices. So what I'm gonna do, I know this is kind of bland, so I'm gonna add some extra spices. Make sure it tastes better. Because I'm gonna mix this all together, and I want this bake to be fantastic. So I'm gonna cook this down, and then add some more spices, then throw in some thyme in there, Maybe a little bit of garlic, definitely some more salt and some pepper. Maybe throw a little bit of, I don't know, maybe some fennel seed to get that flavor popping. That's what I'm looking for. The flavor is sausage, says fennel. Fennel to me says sausage. All right, so here I'm throwing some thyme in there. Fantastic. A little bit of garlic powder. Get that up in there. I have some ground fennel here. I'm gonna throw that in there as well. Cause I feel like sausage needs that. Sausage needs to taste delicious. And then who can forget about, you know, a little bit more salt and pepper. Gotta throw that in there. Now let's cook that down. Break it down real good. All right, so I added some onions, some peppers, red and green, let's go ahead and throw those in. This is just a bag that I bought. It's okay if you want to use fresh, that's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in there because I had these, so this is gonna be make this, I'm gonna mix everything together, that way the flavors milled together. This makes everything taste a little better towards the end. Go ahead and give it a good chop down, mix all the sausage with the peppers and onions. So I know this is a frozen bag, but that's okay. You can use a frozen bag. And not everything has to be fresh when you're doing like a casserole style dish. Fresh is always better, but you know, Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is what I gotta do today, because this is what I got. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cook this down, make sure everything's nice and mixed together. Fantastic looking. Look at that, it's already starting to get the way I want it. The juices are starting to melt the onions, the water is starting to seep in. Get, mix it with the fats and the flavors. It's exactly what I'm looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and cook this down. And then when this is done, I'm gonna mix it in with my potatoes. The potatoes that I was cooking earlier, we're gonna cook those down. We're gonna make sure they're nice and they're crispy. We're gonna add some more salt, a little bit more pepper, give them a little taste, make sure they're done. That's gonna be fantastic. All right, so now here's our potatoes. They've been cooking, you know, nice, and we're just gonna give it a little toss here, okay? You see how they're cooking nice? We want them nice and crispy. You know, some of them are not all crispy, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there the way I'm looking for it. Like I know hash browns, oh, they gotta stick together, but not these. I want these to be able to be torn apart. So I'm gonna mix them with a dozen eggs scrambled along with that sausage and pepper mix. This is gonna be amazing. I'm telling you, man, Whole30, I'm telling you, you guys need to put this inside the recipe for Whole30, because this thing right here, this is everything that you're looking for. You got your protein, you got your carbs, you got your everything that you're looking for. It's everything. It's fantastic. It's Whole30 approved. This is what Whole30 is all about. Are you cutting all that sugar and shit out of your system? You need something that seems like, man, I need energy for the day. What's going to give you more energy than protein and carbs? These two things make the world go round. I don't care what anybody says. This is it right here. All right, so our potatoes are just where I wanted them to be. 
They're getting crispy. They smell fantastic. So I'm going to take my sausage mix right here. We're going to go ahead and add that in. All right, give that a little stir. Mix that up nice and good. Yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna go ahead and let this cook down a little bit more, get all the juices flavored in together so the sausage tastes like the potatoes, the potatoes taste on the sausage. And when this is all done, I'm gonna go ahead and scramble my 12 dozen eggs. Or not a 12 dozen, sorry, just a dozen eggs. And we're gonna mix this all together. I'm telling you folks, fantastic right here. I would not lie to you. All right, I got 12 dozen eggs, or 12, I got a dozen eggs here. My handy fork, go ahead and whisk this down. There we go, that's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so here I have my pan ready to go. My, It's full of clarified butter, not ghee, clarified butter. So I'm gonna take my mix. This is my peppers, my onions, my hash browns. We're gonna mix that all right here. Put that in there. Give it a good little mix rounds. Now I'm gonna pour my hash, I'm gonna pour my eggs in here, and what's gonna happen? It is gonna start to cook, but that's okay. So it's gonna go right in the oven when I'm done. So I got my dozen eggs. I'm gonna pour that right on top. Oh, look at that goodness! Get a little scrapey, scrape, scrape. Mix it in. All right, look at that. Let's mix it in a little bit. Everything's good, nice. Right, make sure everything's nice and even even as you can get you know because you know it's eggs and nice little combo all right this is what I'm looking for here all right I'm gonna take this I'm gonna bake it at 350 for about 35 to 45 minutes all right so I just pulled out my egg bake and you see that it's still bubbling and gooey and delicious look at that Oh, you see the bubbles on the side? That's perfectly cooked. It looks fantastic. It smells wonderful. I'm going to let this sit here and chill, and then I'm going to eat this bitch in the morning. It's going to be fantastic.